And hello, visuals. Welcome back to channel. Welcome back to Superhero Wednesday. As the the dogs, are, why are you being mental? Got a bit of symbiote in you. Is that what it is? Have you got some venom in you? Let me check. Yeah, you're very, very. That that looks like venom. Hello, welcome back to you horrible bastard. Welcome back to Superhero Wednesday, where it's time for the Spider Man. Well, Spider Spider Men's couple of Spider Peoples. Uh, Spider-Man 2 game review. <laughs> Spoiler free. Now, I'm recording this, um, I said that like I'm, I'm about to, uh, you know, give you a dis disciplinary there. I'm, hey, hey, come here, come here. Recording this uh, on the Monday after the weekend release. I got it on the Friday, absolutely obliterating it over the weekend and whatnot. To the point where I, uh, <laughs> I got in a real sweaty game of session where you're a bit like, yeah, I might need to shower here and brush my teeth a bit. And I had so much junk food and so much crap, I felt, I feel very... This is my body. It's probably I've probably got venom inside of me. Loads of gunky, sugary crap. I feel very ah because the game is so epic. But this video won't be up for a couple of weeks, or maybe three or four, to even four weeks after the game's been up. But I'll try and make this as spoiler free as I possibly can. Uh, there might be people that are waiting for the game for, at Christmas, or there might be people that just haven't had time to play it yet. You know, with works and family and stuff like that. I don't want to spoil anything, uh, so I'll try and keep the spoilers down to a bare minimum. Talk about Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 5. We'll just say that I could round the review up by saying this game's absolutely amazing. It's just fucking phenomenal all round. Uh, I think most reviewers, reviews that I've seen anyway, uh, like IGN and stuff, they all they all loved it and whatnot. Uh, I watched Jack Scepter guy um, in the background for a little bit. He was streaming it. It seemed like he was having the best time. It's a fucking awesome, awesome game. Superhero franchise that I compare it to with the Arkham games. Is it as good as the Arkham games? My favorite games of all time are Pokemon and the Arkham series. I can't budge on who's number one. I fucking adore them both. Um, I don't think it's quite there yet at Arkham level. If if it's it's literally only like a millimeter underneath, I think it's just because I've got we've got a bit more from the Arkham stuff. But by 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 no means though is this game like like uh, miles off it's still fucking awesome it's spectacular it's amazing it's superior well then it'll be number one wouldn't it i was just trying to do spider-man names no it's absolutely phenomenal visuals uh it's it's um the reason why i adore the arkham games for example is because i feel like it's the closest we will ever truly get to feel what it is to be batman up against these villains and going around gotham city well you know arkham city and whatnot uh, and it's the exact same for Spider-Man. It's the closest I think we'll ever feel to really swing in the, st the streets of New York, taking on the Sandman, coming toe-to-toe -to -toe with Venom and stuff. They're just so amazing at really getting the embodiment and what it, what the feel is and what a spider story should be with the heart and emotion and the silliness and the jokes and the um, the lightheartedness and the, the never give up attitude. They really embody who Peter and Miles is in this. Peter and Miles, of course, we get both different spiders in this game. We, we could be Miles Miles or we could be Peter Parker. Uh, there's a few things that only uh, Peter can do and that only Miles can do. And in terms of the story, I think Peter probably maybe takes the front seat a little bit. Obviously, all the Venom stuff happens to him, and it's between uh, him and... Uh, should I, I won't spoil with who. I think it's obvious who, if you remember the the the, 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 uh, the first game. Harry Osborn. I don't think it's a spoiler. Harry Osborn um, and everything that goes on between them. But Miles is still there, and he plays a significant role. And he's definitely the heart of it, though. He's the one to help uh, detach the sim that this is spoilers he he's the heart of the story he's there for so many moments uh he's super duper powerful as well and this is he, i was playing it i'm thinking you could be i think you're the sh maybe the strongest spider in this game of course peter still has his amazing moments and whatnot uh, and going forward we might have a complete different dynamic change uh, i've seen um the creators say about venom spin-off and all that kind of stuff but going forward with a spider it's going to be a bit like okay cool the good thing about Miles is there's a lot of people that are going to have Miles as their main spider, which is phenomenal because Miles Morales, hence why I got him tattooed, is, is just fucking awesome. But both of them work so well in this. The story going forward, the, the stuff that Pete is dealing with with him and Harry and MJ and his life and the job, and then you've got the stuff with Miles and uh, his mom and, you know, a relationship hopefully blossoming uh, somewhere along the way. Um, and all the stuff you're doing like with like school life and all that kind of you, all the Miles st story left the Miles and Spider balance is there and the Peter and Spider balance is there and it just flows beautifully and it this game comes with some of the best action sequences you will not only see on a video game but you'll see on a screen of any kind some of the action sequences oh hit the camera the action sequences are absolutely out of this world they just look fantastic there's a nice little nod onto a, a few there's no one at the door mate why are you barking to a 
future awesome character, my third favourite character of all time from comic books, uh, which is great. There's a couple of really cool surprises, to be fair, in terms of reoccurring characters or uh, reoccurring villains and stuff. Well, they're still characters. Uh, some storylines that not necessarily play out, but that had some involvement from the first game. Obviously, the events of the first game and the Miles DLC. Well, it wasn't a DLC. It felt like a DLC, the Miles game, but it's still great. But there's moments from little parts that have a little bit of a hold on this, this game. The story, itself, the, the story is, is just fucking stupidly great um the, the, the spider story where we have to go on from um you know Craven the hunter being involved uh, and where that takes us and all these other villains like the sandman and stuff getting involved uh but then obviously we know the symbiote stuff playing out and how that's gonna affect the story going forward you're just gonna have an unreal time uh, i did get a little bit sidetracked with doing side stuff instead of just going main mission main mission main mission i love going around and doing like these little sandman events or uh little prowler bases and stuff like that the costumes in this, the amount of costumes you can get is fucking awesome as well for both uh, Peter and Miles. The gadgets and weapons and what they use is awesome. I'm nearly done as well. I've only got five, four or five more achievements if I can remember the top of my head to get and then I'll be done dusting but I've had to stop and get ready for it. I need to go up to work and whatnot soon. The bit as well, I would say that's, it's not annoying or tedious but sometimes I'm, I'm I'm not bothered about doing it. Like, if it wasn't in it, I wouldn't be too bothered. It's the MJ stuff, and I love MJ. She's one of the biggest Spider-Man characters there is. But when you go, like, there's a moment, minor spoiler, where you're up against some symbiote to her and a gun, and I'm thinking, like, it's quite fun, because it's like, oh, get out of here, get out of here. My heart's pounding a little bit, like, you've got to get out of here. But I'm like, I just really want to smash it up as Peter or Miles and just go absolutely nuts on this symbiote. But obviously with her, you're limited with what you can do, because she's got no powers or anything. Uh, but you do see a bit more from MJ before the bit I'm on about, which is fucking awesome to see. It's fun as well, ticking off all the boxes, doing the side mission stuff. Going around with the, with the web wings. The web wings are an absolute welcomed addition to this world. Um, it, you got fast travel points, because well, obviously the map's bigger now. Uh, but I rarely, rarely use the fast travel points. I would, more often than not, I'd be swinging and gliding everywhere because it was just so fun to do. It's probably the biggest mechanic of this game, is the swing. I think anybody could pick up this game, whether you like Spider-Man or, or, or not. And, but just swinging about, I think most people would have the time of their lives having, having so much fun doing it. As well as well, actually, there is there is a side mission involving pigeons that fucking destroyed me because uh, without ruining it too much, you, you come to a certain side mission. It's to do with this guy, and he wants to go on an adventure. He wants to, you know, think a bit more. And there's like a depressing tone in it. You've got to. He's like, can you set my pigeons free? He's like, Peter's like, no, you, your family. And he's like, no, it's okay. I want them to be free. And you're like, okay. And then this song starts playing over, and in the back of my head, I'm thinking. Something's gonna happen to this guy, and it's something's definitely gonna happen. And then something does happen to this guy, and I'm like, what the fuck are you trying to do, Spider-Man? Why are you trying to fucking not the, the character but the game? Why are you trying to absolutely ruin me? I'm having the time of my life fucking up symbiotes and going up against Craven the Hunter and shit. And you're making me cry about a man and his pigeons. I do love as well, I, I, I do love the friendly neighborhood aspect of this. You've got these big world life threatening, world threatening events with symbiotes taking over and stuff. Um, but then you do have to stop for every now and then and do your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man stuff, which I absolutely love because that's the heart and the core of who Spider-Man is. And you get to explore all these stuff. So missions and stuff like that, and these little storylines, and I, I just think they do a great job, like I said at the start of the video, of telling a, an ultimate Spider-Man story with encapsulating and incorporating every single, incorporating? Whatever, uh, every single aspect that needs to be in a spider story, and they do it so well, and they, they hit you really hard. Not really a thought, like I said, I know the MJ stuff might be a little bit, yeah, and I know, I could, I could understand if some people, when they, they get sick of the, the walking around bits, or doing the, the normal neighbourhood stuff. I, I could understand if somebody says, yeah, I just want to smash it up. I've paid X amount of money. I just want to swing around and, and shoot webs and shit. I, I get it. But in, if I, I play most of my games, like I said, for the story aspect, unless it's like Pokemon or whatever. I just love that game. Fuck, we all know that how much Pokemon. But it's more the story. That's why I'm in love with the Arkham games. That's why, that's why I don't really play. I don't play like COD or anything like that. I love football. I don't even really play FIFA. I get a bit like, okay, I'm, I'm done with this now. I'd rather watch real football. But... Games that come with a, with a heavy and well-written story, I absolutely adore, and this just has one of the best stories ever. Objectively, uh, you could completely dis uh, disagree with us and whatnot, but yeah, the, the game's a massive 10 out of 10 for me. I, even the, the stuff that I'm like, like I said, the MJ stuff and whatnot, I'm, I'm like, I can't really downgrade you, because I did, I got it first thing Friday morning, um, and I played it all the way through the weekend. I stopped for four hours or so to go to the cinema, and I stopped for two hours to watch the Newcastle game, 
well, a bit, a bit longer than two hours. <laughs> I was at the Newcastle game. Um, but I stopped for a few moments here and there to to do other stuff. But I still managed to get it all done. And it was one of the best weekends I've had in a long while. Because it, it takes a lot for me to sit and sweat a game. To fully sweat a game. Unless, like I said, unless it's Pokemon or a Batman game or something like this. Uh, I'll just sort of like pick it up and put it down. Pick it up and put it down. Pick it up and put it down. Oh, but it was so amazing. Like I said, one or two more things to do, and then that's it. I'll be done, and I'm going to be a bit sad. I will probably replay it again in a few months' time. And as well, an awesome thing, this is the first time that I've been able to play a Spider-Man game in a long, long time on like the release day, because when the first game came out, the Miles games came out, uh, I couldn't afford to have a, get a PlayStation. I'd already I'd spent my money to get an Xbox and all that kind of stuff, and I couldn't afford a PlayStation. Um, so I played them like a year, two years after the, well, two years after the Spider-Man game, and then like... A few months or maybe maybe a year maybe of the of the uh, the Miles game, so I was able to do both of them back to back and whatnot. Uh, so it was nice to have it on release day weekend because I would have been I would have been so heartbroken in bed uh, or doing whatever I was doing, be like oh, I see Spider Man advertisement everywhere. I just want to play it. Still can't really afford a PlayStation now, but luckily I was able to get one on like finance and whatnot a, a year or so ago. But visual Spider Man Two, absolutely amazing. Ten out of ten. Action, drama, storytelling. Uh, emotion, laughter, uh, action sequences are so on point. Seeing Venom, the way they did Venom in this was beautiful as well. A lead on, there are a couple of cutscenes. When you get to the credits, there's a uh, one cutscene, and then you'll do the normal. No, sorry, yeah, you'll do credits, cutscene, credits, cutscene. Uh, so be, be there to check both of them out. But visuals, the Spider Man game, number two, that is. Gets a massive million and trillion out of 10. It's beautiful. Check it out as soon as you can. It's my review for Spider-Man 2. Let me know what you think of my review. I ramble on, I know, a hell of a lot. So just put the comments down, you rambly fucking idiot. Shut your mouth. Um, it's so fucking awesome. It's so great. But let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. Uh, hopefully I haven't spoiled too much. Like I said, I know people with busy work lives and whatnot or schedules or maybe have to save up for it. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything too soon, even though there'll be spoilers everywhere. But visuals, thank you so much for watching. That was Superhero Wednesday. That was my review for Spider-Man 2. Remember, always keep being you and keep on a web slinging on.